WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrial Trading up 405, Nasdaq's up 81, S&P's up 32. Gold. Gold contract up $2.40, trading at 16.78 an ounce. We have silver up 8 cents, $20.87 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 67 cents. $91.94 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note down 12 ticks, trading 109.20, 30-year off 28 at 118.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 762 ticks, trading 110.114. The euro is at 1 to 1, the yen is at uh, 146, and the British pound is at 115 to 1 US dollar. We can over and take a look at the S&P. This is going to we got divergence here, man. It's going to be interesting. So you have the dollar bottom is giving the market breathing room. That being said, the contraction in volume on the S&Ps today is uh, quite incredible. You know, we did 103 million on Friday. Well, we're at 43 right now. So, you know, you're holding price. I mean, anything over 378, 50, 87 says you can still go higher. So, but this contraction is pretty intense. NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX. What do you have with the NDX? Set this baby up. And what do you have inside the NDX? The three Qs, same setup. 35 million shares, you did 78 million. So I suspect that when you, when you look at this, this is telling me that, okay, it's just not going to go right to the top of this range right now. You know, you're going to get some other quirk and we're going to come back downstairs and test again. Now, the good news is that the Friday, the volume was so big in the Friday. Let's say if you went higher to yesterday, you come back down and test the highs of that Friday bar. You know, if we get over to the dollar, the bottom line, this was the ultimate Bud Rolf setup, folks. God bless Bud. I mean, the bottom line is that when you look at this, okay, it is absolutely incredible. It goes right to the under the, the trend line and gives it up with conviction. You give it up with conviction, bottom line, we're going to 104. And here's the divergence. The bottom line is that dollar down, markets up. Metal up, everything up. So we're going we're gonna to get a quirk in the middle of this. Not quite sure where it is because if we go to the bonds also, you know, I heard Larry. Larry's talking about, you know, the, you get the eclipse coming. And there's no doubt. There's, the volume is so low on the bonds right now. That is telling me that that wants to turn upside down, up also. If the bonds are going up, the dollar will continue down. The market will go up and metals will go up. But there's divergence in the middle of it because of the fact that the contraction is so large inside the NDX and the S&P. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpen